Hello and welcome to this video. I'm the Busy Eradicator, and today we're going to review another game. Uh, this is actually uh, City Skylines, and we're going to review the uh, brand new uh, DLC for City Skylines. Oh, no, City For some reason I cannot rotate, that's very interesting. <laughs> Alright, so what I wanted to show you is the uh, the brand new DLC with... Uh, I'm so sorry, I cannot rotate, what the hell is going on? Gosh, oh well. Uh, I'll do the video without rotating, but I wanted to show you some of the uh, new things that uh, this year. So as you can see, uh, this map has uh, some farms, so let's have a look at the farms and see what they do. Uh, got some uh, cows, corn, some uh, potatoes, a nice little wheat field, some cotton. Uh, maybe not cotton here because this is Europe and there is no cotton in Europe, so we'll make it grow. Uh, there we go, potatoes, absolutely. Oranges, maybe not oranges, let's go apples. So as you can see, this is pretty uh, cosmetic, you can grow, you can grow whatever you want. But uh, pretty looking uh, neat, uh, you need to look at the uh, main, the farm main building to see how it is doing. This is uh, uh, 5 uh, star, oh I'm reporting a lot. And I'm losing money for some reason. Why is that? That's because I don't have enough workers to uh, so why, do you, why don't we have enough workers? We probably need uh, more houses. So see here we're losing a little bit of money because our river is uh, polluted. But probably if we give uh, more services, these guys will be happier. So maybe, let's see, uh, not the university, that's a little bit here. Let's see what we can give these guys. like these people will be happier hopefully and maybe also how about health health is not so great so let's give these guys also a sauna come on here and, and the swimming pool Suburban. I don't want to have a, a huge, crazy amount of people. All right. Let's also give them some water before I run out of money. Money usually comes and goes uh, based on the profits. Uh, for example, now I'm making a shit ton of money for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of uh, how it looks like. Uh, there is also the uh, a couple of other things I want to show you. Uh, here is the uh, toll booth. So this actually, you don't need to buy the DLC to uh, get the toll booth. This is uh, from the free update. For some reason, I don't know why they. Uh, I cannot rotate my mouse. This is so weird. Uh, I will probably restart the game later. But I just wanted to show you how it looks like. Uh, so let's see if we're making money with the toll booth. 
this is where the, the money uh, we're making, and it's about 500, so uh, pretty decent. Uh, we have a couple of new rows as well, uh, which uh, right now I don't have access to because I'm out of cash for reasons I don't understand right now. I'm to check it out. But yeah, that's one of these uh, industrial rows uh, that they've uh, put in the game. They're looking uh, pretty nice. They have some crappy rows from time to time. Uh, I just like to have crappy looking rows for some reason. So, pretty nice. I'm trying to have the, uh, the day uh, coming as fast as possible because I want to show you the other uh, area, which is uh, this one here. Okay, there's the, which is this one here is the uh, ore uh, business, which I'll show you there. There's lots of people working the mines here. Looks like we are also a little bit out of. Uh, Profit because we need to import a lot. I think the problem is that we're lacking workers, so we really need more people in the, in the city. I don't understand that. You know, before I made this video, I was earning a shit ton of money and now I'm losing money for. Was it because I put all these services here? That's crazy. Anyway, money comes and goes. Um, so probably see now I'm making four thousand. I mean I'm making money again. So yeah, just make sure to, you have enough cash. Uh, okay, the day should come at any moment soon. Now we are a small city, excellent. So we can have uh, more transport options. Uh, that's what I wanted. Trains, uh, which I will uh, do later. We don't really have any of these uh, things here. that is uh, not related to industries. The day is coming. The day is upon. I still don't have the... Uh, I cannot use this uh, mouse button. All right. See now, money is coming in for some reason. I think in the night people are sleeping, that's why. Anyway, what do we don't We don't have glass. So because we don't have glass, we cannot make lemon. So that's one of the other things I wanted to show you. Uh, this is a unique building find here in the industry building and unique factories. Um, so these produce unique goods that you can make profit of either by selling in your different shops in the city or by uh, exporting uh, out of town. So here's the uh, core area. So uh, it's important to have these storage. You can see these storage, they are, if, if you basically mine too much, you can keep them and our industries can use them here for the future. I also believe you can import them I also believe you can import uh, ore from uh, outside and then have your industries use them, but that I am not so sure. Anyway, that's all I have for now. You also have two other uh, types of industry. You have oil, uh, but I don't have access to the oil in the map yet. And you also have uh, forestry, which is uh, something I will do in the next video. We're gonna do that next. Uh, let's see how this farm is doing. Uh, oh, this one is losing or making money. But also, we clearly don't have enough workers, so I'm gonna have to work on uh, getting more workers in this case here. Now. So, uh, I don't know if you guys recognize this area. Probably if you are French or Breton like myself, you will recognize it. This is a map that I've made. It is loosely based on the Mont Saint-Michel area, which you can see here. I'm testing the map right now. Um, it's looking good. Uh, I've had the sanitation uh, thing here, because otherwise I don't want the, uh, I don't want the, uh, the water to be uh, pumping to be polluted. But yes, it's a quite a challenge to manage uh, you know, where the uh, polluted water is, uh, is, fl is, is flowing. Uh, yeah, so this is the town of Pont Orson. Uh, I'm probably going to have a city center here. Let's see. Okay. Probably. Uh, European 
so there it goes because we absolutely need more people so we'll call it a it's Super Salmon Day down at Fish Brothers. For a limited time, bring in any fish and get a child salmon entree free. You heard right. Bring in any fish and get a free child salmon entree. And I mean any fish. Got a swordfish lying around? Bring it in. Got a goldfish you're sick of feeding? Bring it in. Got a fish that's been sitting in the sun for a few days? Bring it in. We'll throw it in with the rest of them. What we do with the fish is nobody's business but ours. Just enjoy your salmon $8.99 with our famous stew. So, welcome on into Fish Brothers yes, Seafood Theme Restaurant, where everything's a great catch. High rises. <laughs> All right, let's see how we can help if we're gonna get more people in my city center. You're listening to Synthetic Dawn Radio with Jessica Statler. Tune in and dance your way through the rat race. So as you can hear, this is also one of the new uh, radios that we have access to in this uh, DLC. I really like the feel actually, this kind of you know, new wave-ish uh, you know, atmosphere that they are bringing. Uh, yeah, it reminds me of the old, you know, the old SimCity uh, games where it used to be uh, that kind of music a little bit, especially if you remember SimCity. Uh, 2 was a little bit like that since the 2000. Oh, there's a little bit of water here. I cannot build this like swamp. How about here? Yes, we can. Okay. Now I want more people to move into this area. all these new people are going to uh, bring a, a boost, a needed boost to the economy. There is no water, I should I always to bring water, I always forget to bring water. And there is no electricity as well. Let's bring in uh, some kind of services that are going to bring electricity. Are we electricity wise? No, it doesn't work. I have a... Alright, that's gonna work. And maybe a little park to keep these people happy. What do we have here? Fishing Island. Oh, that's fun. Oh, this is definitely for seas. That's not gonna work uh, right here. That's not helping a lot. Basketball court. Is it bringing the electricity? Yes, it is. All right, we should have uh, more cash now. People should. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit sick. People should be moving in, and they should be uh, able to go uh, this way. Yes, 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 yes. Looking, I'm thinking about putting a new uh, toll booth here. So this basically displacing the, the toll booth here. I'm putting here at uh, the entrance, kind of here, here, and here. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this video. Uh, 
yeah, um, industry is looking pretty good. I like uh, the feel, I like the degree of complexity. Uh, it brings a really nice uh, layer. My only concern is that, as you can see, the industries are way too um, worker consuming. And when I'm going to go to this area, uh, this is going to be a problem because <laughs> see there's a lot of uh, nice land for farms but I'm going to need a lot of people uh, so let's see how it goes thank you so much guys for watching this video I'll make another video with uh, probably forestry as I go through this area next and uh, my last video about this series uh, is going to be about uh, oil which is what I'm going to uh, go to this area so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you like uh, you know, this channel oh this is the eradicator i'll see you next time